Greetings and salutations everyone, my name is Andrew from Team Respawn. This is a Halo Wars 2 strategy video. Um, I have a series of strategy videos that uh, hopefully help you out become a better player in Halo Wars 2. Um, in this one, I'm going to show you kind of a basic um, build method of uh, getting off the ground pretty quickly. Um, of course, everyone has, you know, it's kind of like deciding where everyone had lunch. Everyone has their own opinion on uh, how to build up your base, but I feel like Halo Wars 2 is kind of uh, to see who can get the second tech the fastest, because once you get the second tech, you can build things like vehicles, uh, hornets, um, a lot of the infantry, a whole bunch of stuff, really pretty much everything except uh, marines and jackrabbits um, needs second tech, so it's kind of a race to get there. So this is what I do first, is uh, and this works for Covenant 2, I mean, they have the same buildings more or less, so I build a generator first. And then I queue up, uh, normally I queue up two supply pads, um, and at the beginning of this match, these marines auto took these crates, um, and there's going to be crates around your base. I would tell the marines, while these buildings are building, to get these crates. That way you'll have enough resources to train a third marine squad, and you pretty much need three marine squads to capture power nodes. Um, once your generator is done, you're going to have enough to upgrade it to an advanced generator. And the reason, it, so it's kind of like a domino effect. You want to upgrade this as soon as possible because once you have power, you can upgrade the supply pads. Once you upgrade the supply pads, you can build a generator here, which is 500 resources. And then once you get 500 uh, resources to build your second generator, you're going to get the second tech a lot faster. So, long story short, I feel like at the beginning of the game, power is much more important than resources. Um... So I have my three Marine Squads out. I'm going to tell them to capture a few more uh, crates here. Usually I'll tell them to get like one or two supplies of crates. Um, you know, go ahead and get your first leader power, whatever. Uh, that's really not going to change anything. So if you do this right, you should get close to 500 resources and 200 power at the same time. Um, I didn't go for a power node right at the beginning, but that's okay. So I have my two... Um, out of all the buildings that I need, I'm going to go down here and take the first power node, and it's usually best to do it with three marine squads. Um, I've always had the best experience with the number has to be greater than or equal to three marine squads. So the more the merrier, uh, but it's kind of hard to capture it with two sometimes. Depends on how stupid or smart the sentinels are. So, so take this dude and start capturing this power node. And... Um, what I also like to do is, even though I'm already a third of the way there to second tech, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this generator anyway, because your return on investment, I'm throwing business terms at you now, um, is definitely worth it. And then, you know, you need 800 resources to build a third generator. I don't think that's necessarily worth it, because uh, probably by the time you, you build and buy uh, this generator, you're going to be close to the thousand resources anyway. Oh, look at this scrub. Look at this scrub. Now you better get the hell out of here. Uh, with the remaining slot, I usually actually build an armory. Um, and that's just so I can get things like advanced logistics pretty early on. If I want to train my hero unit, I can. And some other things that don't cost a lot of power. It's like I'll start some. I'll start my turrets. I usually like doing regular turrets in the front. And I lost a marine squad. Lovely. don't know how that's possible. But it was. Um, and then, you, you know, if it's if it's a serious game, you know, you can multitask pretty hardly and, uh, or multitask a lot, I guess I should say, and, you know, capture at least more than one power node and that'll get you closer to uh, second tech. Of course, this isn't the fastest way. I'm just showing you uh, this is my method and I get the best, um, you know, results through this. We'll capture this power node here. Usually, if I'm playing with Ed, uh, you know, we'll get quite a bit of power nodes. He'll get a couple, and I'll get a couple while we're doing this, too. So, instead of getting the second tech at, you know, four minutes there, four minutes and ten seconds, maybe we're able to get it at, you know, three minutes and 45 seconds. I, I don't know how much getting these power nodes greatly affects this, because I always go for the power nodes. What the hell are these guys doing? But there you have it. I'm now at second tech at 4 minutes and uh, 45 seconds-ish. 
And then from here, you know, I can build like my barracks, my garage, I can build my siege turrets now, a uh, whole bunch of stuff. Um, and of course, the, with this method, you can see I'm already halfway, almost, well, I am halfway to third tech, actually. Oh, these kids want the power node. That's fine, I'm pretty much done with this. But yeah, there you have it. Look at this scrub. Yeah, you better get out of here. Um, that's kind of my strategy forward slash method of uh, building up your base pretty early on, jump into second tech. I feel like it's really important to jump to second tech in this first generator. Um, getting this guy up as quickly as possible is going to make all the difference. Because um, again, ha Halo Wars 2 is more about power than supplies, I feel like. Um, but that that's just me. Because there's so many units that need power. Um, well, except, which is strange to me that Kodiaks don't need power. But, you know, Wolverines do. I don't know who decided that. Um, but yeah, I think the only units you can make without power are, you know, Marines. Jackrabbit randomly costs 12 power. Uh, the Kodiaks you don't need power for. And Hornets you don't need power for. And I think Nightingales you don't either. But everything else uh, needs power. You can count Engineers in there too, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's my strategy. Uh, hopefully that helps you out if you're struggling out of the gate sometimes in Halo Wars 2. Um, maybe this will help you out. Now this doesn't really help against a rush um, because you're more interested in building up your economy first and then you can make some kick-ass units. So um, I've had it quite a few times where I'll jump to second tech and I, you know, I'm queuing up my tanks or my marauders or whatever I'm doing and uh, you know, I get attacked by a marine rush or something and it's hard to defend. That's why it's, it's kind of important to build up your turrets here as well because uh, that can kind of either save you completely or maybe be enough to scare the other guy off um, and you can you know, keep playing in the game. Uh, post your comments down below if you have a different base building order at the beginning of the game, like do you go for a supply pad first or you know, what, what do you build an armory first? I, I'd be really interested in knowing um, and there's a playlist for all of the strategy videos that I have done and will do. Um, so hopefully you can check those out and become much better at playing Halo Wars 2. Thanks for watching. I'm Andrew from Team Respawn, and I'll see you next time.